Hey guys, so recently I have redecorated our nursery. Um, we went and did some shopping at IKEA not long ago and bought quite a few things to help decorate the nursery and also we bought quite a lot of um, like storage boxes and um, pockets and things like just to help with the organization of the room and um, now that Hazel and Blake are both sharing the nursery I've kind of got it in two different themes so I've got Hazel's butterfly theme on one half of the room and then Blake's he's sort of got a safari animal theme going on so yeah it's nothing too special but um, that's how I've done it so I'll show you guys what it looks like so you walk in and you see the cot so this is where Blake's sleeping at the moment. Um, we just bought this mosquito net from Ikea recently and then you see the box filled with stuffed animals. So we bought that box from Ikea um, and it is an excellent storage place to put anything that needs to be off the floor. and. Yeah, in one place, so it's really easy for the kids just to go and get whatever they want and then it's really easy to pack up all the stuffed animals and put them back in there when they're finished playing with them, so... Then I've got a sea star painting, starfish, whatever. Um, I did all these paintings that are in this room, so... Um, I also painted Blake's name soon after he was born, so that's got like little safari animals. So there's giraffe, monkey, a toucan, a little chameleon, and a snake. And then there's just a little twinkle twinkle little star thing. So there's Blake's name. Um, I also got this like cot set, the duvet and the bumper. Um, I bought it second hand but yeah, it's in really good condition and it's like a safari animal theme as well. I think it's called Savannah and it's by the Kids Line, which is the same people that did Hazel's. Um, all Hazel's decorations and cot stuff, so there's cute little lions and hippos and giraffes and stuff. So that's the cot. I'll show you guys behind the door before I go any further. So I bought these little coat hooks, um, they're just little flowers and that's where I keep Hazel's dressing gowns and jackets and things. So, um, going back this way, we have the change table. That used to be on the other side over here. Now that Hazel's sleeping in the toddler bed, which is over here, I've moved it. So. Um, so yeah, and that bed used to be along the wall along that way as well, so I've moved that around. And so she sleeps there now. And then I've got this little bookshelf thing and then there's all her butterfly kids line stuff and Hazel's name up there. And there's a little dangling fairy thing. Um. So I'll, I won't go into too much detail, but I'll show you guys. There's this lamp, which looks quite pretty. And just these baskets in here, the, that's where I keep hats and just, yeah, mostly hats and including this gorgeous little owl hat that I got for Blake. I think it's adorable. And yeah, I bought that off Etsy. And you can get them in different colours and stuff, but it's just a gorgeous little crocheted hat. Um, then I've got in this one I keep little booties and socks and things for Hazel and Blake. In this basket I have just some toys and a few little random bits of bits and pieces. Then there's um, books that we read at bedtime. We have our favourites, which are these ones here. Um, she loves this Peter Rabbit book, which is really cute, and it's got like 
little pop-ups and it's like a really simple book but it's just really nicely written and like rhyming and it's quite short so um, it says Mrs. Tittlemouse can bake the most delicious honey cake and Hazel goes honey cake <laughs> it's so adorable yeah I think she really likes the repetition of just reading the same books over and over so um, that's quite fun and then there's this in my tree one with the little owl We've got a bit of an owl theme going on here as well, but yeah, I think they're really cute. And yeah, like you can stick your finger in the back of it and move the little owl around. So that's quite a cute book as well. I've got this little calendar up on the wall, which is given to me when Blake was born. It was like a little, um, like a milestone kind of calendar and you can stick photos up on there and write their length and height and stuff and that's like in a safari animal theme as well so um, I have to change the month and update it because we're in August now so yeah um, I won't show you in the drawers or anything but that's just where I keep my um, nappies cloth nappies in there and then like sheets cot sheets and um, a few more cloth nappies and then just clothes I've got Hazel's clothes in the top and then I've got Blake's clothes that he wears at the moment and then I've got like two different sizes of Blake's clothes down the bottom like going bigger sizes so this is just the nappy changing area and I've got a little glitter lava lamp here but um, the bulb has blown so unfortunately I can't turn that on and show you guys but uh, then I've got the angel care monitor and that's got a little night light in the top too which is quite cool and I just keep little hair clips and a few bits of jewellery in there. Um, down here I have, this is another storage pocket thing that I got from Ikea. And I just keep little like hair ribbons and bows and stuff in there. And then headbands and a few bangles. So bits of jewellery and stuff. And then down here I've got some shoes in there. and just got two spare pockets that I haven't filled yet so then I've got more clothes that are too small and too big and then I've got bibs up here toy that I haven't used yet then this basket is full of like sample pots of like pseudo cream and baby nappy creams and stuff like that and then a few snappies then these are like clothes that are too small and Hazel's old clothes and then some blankets down there and that's a porter cot and then more clothes that are too small so yeah obviously I haven't got my cupboard very organized that is our nursery I've got Hazel's rocking horse down there then Hazel's bed oh, and then there's her clothes hamper as well which I Blake and Hazel both share that then Hazel's name. It's just a box of blocks down there. And the cot. So that is our nursery redecorated with a few storage ideas for you guys. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.